Hello everyone, my name is Beverly Banks and I am a Young Living Distributor as well as the Executive Assistant for Miss Terry Seacrest, our Crown Diamond Upline. And we wanted to create this training video to show you how you can take the Vimeo link that we will email you upon request and add your contact information to it. Now the reason why this is important is because these videos are made very blank and we want to make sure that everyone is utilizing the marketing to the best of their ability. So we want to make sure that there are no naked videos running around without contact information, that every video has contact information on it, and we want that contact information to be yours, especially if you are sharing it via email or via Facebook. So we're going to show you how to do all of those things today. Now here is what the email would look like if it were to arrive into your Gmail box from Terry, and it would be this little Vimeo link right here that you want to select. Now, I have already been to this Vimeo link today, but the first time that you go, you will be asked to enter a password because these videos are made private. The reason why we use Vimeo is because not only can we lock them with the password so only our downline gets the naked videos, but you can also download it to your computer. Now you will get your password from Terry as well when you get your video link and you just plug it right into the box and the video is going to open on your screen and it looks just like this. Now as it begins to download, down at the bottom underneath the video you'll see these four buttons pop up and you want to go ahead and select the download button which is located right here. Now once you select the download button, the name of the file is going to pop up and that's this guy right here and you're going to select it and it will begin downloading to your computer. Now depending upon if you have a Mac or a PC, that will decide where it is your video is going to go. I have a PC so I'm just going to open up my downloads and in my download file here, the Winter Rescue Collection is going to pop up right here in the W's because I have mine organized by the name of the file. So I'm going to select that and save it to my desktop just so that I know where it is. And once you're done downloading the video, you're done with Vimeo. So you can close that out and it's going to make it a little easier. Next, you want to go to YouTube.com. And if you have a Gmail account, you will automatically be signed into your YouTube account because you use the same login information for both. If you don't, up here on this right hand side where it says Beverly at TerrySeacrest.com, it will actually say sign in or it will say sign up and you will need to sign up and get your YouTube account and channel. So for um, right now, we're just going to hit the upload button. And when you're brought to this next screen, what you want to do is select, um, if you have a Mac, you can actually drag over and drop in the files that you need and they will just start to download. But for me and my little PC, I'm going to select the arrow right here and then go to my desktop and the Winter Rescue Collection is right here. So I select that and click open. On this next screen, while your video processes, you are going to be able to change the, um, the heading, the title of your video here. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because Vimeo adds pluses and all sorts of stuff to it. Then in your description, you always want to start your YouTube description off with your website, but you want to make sure to add HTTPS colon backslash backslash and then put your um your website in there okay so for me it's the leafdrop.com for you it might be um your marketing sense account or it could be a you know any website that you have that you're wanting to promote Stick it right there just like that so that when people watch the video, your website will be the first thing that they see and it's going to be a hyperlink so that they can just click on it and be brought straight to your website. Now in the description,
You can add something like this. If you have a cold or flu, flu you're going to want to watch this. Or you can say, um, watch this video to see Crown Diamond Terry Seacrest explain why the Golden Touch One Kit is our winter rescue collection. Or there's a number of things that you can do. You know your audience and who you're going to be sending this video to. So describe it in a way that it's going to appeal to them. Now in this tags section, what you want to do is you really want to think about um, what your audience is going to plug into the search bar of YouTube that would lead them to want to watch your video. So it can be something like cold and flu, um, natural cough syrup, um, uh, and then, you know, there's suggested tags down here, so common cold might be a good one, um, uh, pneumonia might be a good one, you know, there's different things that will be a good one. And then you'll hit publish once it's done. I've already downloaded this video, so I'm going to cancel my upload. <laughs> you'll continue with your upload, though. So once all is said and done, you need to get into your video manager, and you do that by selecting this little sprocket to the right of the upload button and going to video manager. Your video manager will take you to all of the videos that you have ever uploaded, and if you shot a video with your phone and uploaded it to YouTube off of your phone, but you wanted to add your contact information before you put it out there, this is where you would start those instructions. So go ahead and select the Winter Rescue Collection because that's what we're going to doctor today. And when it opens up, it's going to start playing. So you can just go ahead and pause it. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to add the words. Now, these words are called your annotation. And you're going to find your annotation button right down here at the bottom. So underneath the video, you have all of these choices. You can add um, audio or music. There's other enhancements that you can do that you can play with a little bit later. But right now we're going to add annotations. And when the annotation screen opens, you'll have your video at the top, which again is going to automatically start playing, so you'll want to hit the pause button. And then below it, you're going to have this gray box which is the visual representation of your video. Now yours is going to be blank. I've been um, doing annotations all morning long, so you see them spread out down here. But yours won't have any little A's down there. So you're going to select Add Annotation. And uh, you can play with the look of all of these. I like Title, which is what the leafdrop.com right there is written in. And you'll go to the box and you'll type in whatever contact information you're wanting to add. And you can add your name, your telephone number, your web address. You can add anything that you would like to. And you will notice here at the corners, you have these little gray boxes. Those gray boxes are going to allow you to change the look, make it bigger or smaller. You can also grab it and drag it to the center of your screen if you want to center it just like that. And then down here, you get to decide where you want to place it. So this little, um, the A that has the red brackets is the annotation that we're working on right now. But it doesn't have to be there. I like to put 30 minutes of my contact information at the beginning and 30 minutes of my, con or 30 seconds, excuse me, 30 seconds of my contact information at the beginning and another 30 seconds at the end. So um, you can make your annotation. And you can drag it to the end if you'd like, or you can leave it at the beginning. It's completely up to you. But over here, I like to make sure that it's going to be 30 seconds long. So um, I make sure my start tag is all zeros so that it'll start at the very beginning. And then at the end, I'm going to say that, hey, at 30 seconds, I want my information to end so that it doesn't go through the entire video. And then you'll just select publish. Okay, so once you have published this, you're going to go back to Uploads, and you'll select your video again. Only this time, your video will actually have your contact information at the bottom of it. Your annotation is going to appear.
Hey everybody, it's Terry Seacrest here, the author of Eating Out of Heaven's Garden. So and this link is what you're going to use to contact everybody. So I'm going to copy it and go back over to my inbox and I'm going to compose an email. And I'm going to pop it out just so you guys can see the buttons at the bottom. So to Terry, I'm going to write I saw this video and thought of you. To watch it, click here. Look, bad. Okay, so then this is the easiest way to do it. We're going to highlight, click here. And then at the bottom is this plus button. Just hover over it and click the one that looks like a little chain. Okay. Then you're going to paste in your URL and select OK. And that's going to turn this into a hyperlink. So all Terry has to do is click there when she receives the email and she can watch the video. Of course, you're more than welcome to paste your URL link right into your email as well, so you can really do it either way. But then you hit send and it will go off to your recipient and they'll be able to watch the video. So let's talk about Facebook. On Facebook, your status bar is the best way to um, actually share a video. So if you have a cold or flu, you have to see this. Okay, then paste your link in there and just give it a second. And what's so nice about things being linked together is that Facebook is going to go to YouTube and they're going to pull out your video and do a thumbnail is what it's called. So you're going to have a little picture of it in there. Once it pops up, you can actually delete the link out of your um, out of your box there so that it doesn't look so jarbled and then hit post. And that's going to post up on your page about the Golden Touch one. And I'm just going to send it just like that. Now, you can also post your status to other people's pages if you want to share it. And so there you go. That's what it looks like. So all of my Facebook friends and a few of you guys are actually seeing this as well. And if you have people that you know are, is going to like this video, you're going to hit share. And only do this if you know the person, because if you don't know them or if they're not ready for it, it is seen as, um, you know, a social media faux pas to actually post things um, to other people's wall. So, but on your own timeline is an option, or you can share it on a friend's timeline. Um, you know, so if you're looking for your friend, let me see if Joyce is on here. Um, so if you have a friend, you can select them and it will post to their wall um, or you can also post it to a group's wall. So we just started our success page. So I'm going to say on a page that I manage and there's um, the leaf drop. And so I can write something in here and then share the link on that page that I manage. So um, there's a number of different ways to share it on Facebook. And there you go. There is your way to go ahead and start sharing uh, these videos and to market and hopefully market the contest as well. If you have any questions, email me at Beverly, B-E-V-E-R-L-Y, at Terry Seacrest, T-E-R-I-S-E. C -R -E -S -T dot com, and I will be more than happy to share any of the information that I have with you. So good luck and happy videos.